the pandemic rages on. Health experts say some patients are putting off needed surgeries or other medical procedures that would greatly improve their quality of life out of fear or reluctance to go into a hospital right now. The message they want to get out is not only how and why it is safe to get the health care you need now, but also why putting it off could make things worse in the long run. Bev Zabel of Sabisky loves exploring. Um, I, I do like to do genealogy. Even if it's only in her own family tree. Yeah. It's kind of interesting just to find out um, names, how names kind of repeat themselves through the generations. Zabel used to be into more fast-paced adventures. I liked um, motorcycling and flower gardening quite a bit. Until years at a factory job started taking their toll. The joints really take a beating. Oh, God. So a lot of re a lot of repetitive work and, you know, things just wear out a lot quicker. When cortisone shots no longer took care of the pain in her shoulder, Zabel knew it was time for a permanent fix. We were able to do a surgical procedure to repair her rotator cuff tear. But Zabel's recovery journey didn't end there. So we're striving to get her shoulder back to the way it was before surgery. Reagan Daynert is a sports medicine trainer at Aurora Baycare Medical Center. Well, my main duty is to help her rehab her shoulder. I also provide her with emotional and motivational support. Both Daynert and Dr. Harold Schock are part of an entire team at Aurora Baycare working with Zabel before, during, and after her surgery. From the people that first answer the phone when I call into the office, to the folks who help them with therapy, all our team members that help in the surgical procedure. Shock says that team includes the patient. The patient has to be very a, a very active participant in their care. Shock says another important factor for successful outcomes like Zabel's is to not put off the care you need, even in a pandemic. The hospital, and specifically the operating room, is one of the safest environments you're going to be. Zabel to be. agrees. It's like the longer you wait, the worse things can get. And then it's just going to make for a longer recovery. For some appointments, you don't even have to go to the hospital. We can do a virtual training over Zoom, um, which is really convenient because then they can work out in the comfort of their own home. Now, with her shoulder on the men. Um, I've got, you know, almost all my range of motion back and there really, there is no pain anymore. Zabel says she can't wait to climb back into that family tree. I came across a picture of a great-great-grandmother, and it's like, looks exactly like my cousin. Bev now works in healthcare herself, and she says even though the work she does is behind the scenes, she likes the feeling of helping people get the care they need, especially during these difficult times. To learn more, you can call Aurora Baycare or email healthwatch at aurorabaycare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.